Welcome to Unit 2, which is about representing relationships. In order to do that, we're going to have to start off by learning how to use variables to write expressions. When you're writing expressions, you do have to be familiar with a lot of vocabulary. You might want to pause the video during this list and familiarize yourself with some of these words. Most of these words are pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to focus on the bottom three. Squared means to multiply something by itself. Doubled means to multiply something by 2, and tripled means to multiply something by 3. In this lesson, we are going to be dealing with problems that I like to call table problems. In these problems, we are given a number or a variable to start with, and then we are given directions for how to change that number or variable. So for this first one, we are asked to decrease by 4. So we're going to take this 11 and we're going to subtract 4 from it. That's what decrease means, is subtract. So we're going to subtract 4 and get 7. And then we're asked to triple our result, which means multiply by 3. So multiplying 7 by 3, we get 21. Now let's do that same problem, but with the variable n. We're going to start off by decreasing by 4. That means subtract 4 from n, which we can't simplify because they're not like terms. So we have n minus 4. Now again, we're asked to triple our result, and the way we're going to do that with a variable is we're going to put parentheses around the expression we just had. We're going to take this n minus 4, and we're going to multiply the whole thing by 3, so we're going to put a 3 out in front. 3 times n minus 4. Now we're going to do something really similar down here. You notice it looks almost the same, but we're going to flip that triple and decrease step to show you that order of operations matter. So we're going to start off by tripling our number, so multiplying 11 by 3, that's 33. And then we're going to decrease by 4, which means subtract 4. So subtracting 4 from 33, we get 29. Now let's do the same thing for n. We start with n, we triple the result to get 3n, 3 times n, and now we decrease by 4, so we're going to have 3n minus 4 and that will be our final answer. Now let's do some quick examples, taking written sentences and turning them into expressions. So this first example says the, the sum of w and 8. Sum means addition, so we're being asked to add w and 8 together. w plus 8. In this next problem, we're asked to take 5 less than x. Be careful, this does not mean an inequality. The word less means we have subtraction. However, we do need to be careful because this is not saying 5 minus x. Sometimes it's easier to use words as an example. So let's go off to the side really quick and think about this. If I'm 30 years old and somebody is 5 years less than me, they are not 5 minus 30 equals negative 25 years old. That doesn't make sense. They're 30 minus 5, 25 years old. So when you're 5 less, you're actually going to subtract by 5, not the other way around. So this is going to be x minus 5. 5 minus x would be wrong. Next we have the product, which means multiplication, of p and negative 3. We always like to put the number part ahead of the variable part, so we're going to write this as negative 3p. It's really negative 3 times p, but we don't need to write the multiplication. In this next problem, we're asked to take a number x, multiply it by 5, and then subtract 2. So the order of these operations does matter. We need to start off with x multiplied by 5, and then we're going to subtract 2. So let's start off here. x multiplied by 5 would be 5 times x, or 5x. Then we want to subtract 2, so minus 2. I don't need to put parentheses in this problem because it wouldn't be any different than just writing 5x. And that's our final answer. One final problem here. We're told to write an expression to show 2 decreased by the sum of c and 5. So there's a lot going on here. The sum of c and 5 is one collective. We're going to put that in parentheses 
because we're not decreased by c or 5, we're decreased by the sum of c and 5. Sum means addition, so I'm going to take c and 5, and I'm going to add them together, c plus 5, and to show that I'm doing this first, I'm going to put parentheses around it. Now, I want 2 decreased by this, so I want 2 minus that c plus 5. We do know how to simplify this, but I'm fine leaving it in this unsimplified form and calling this our final answer. So we're going to end this lesson on a pretty typical test question. Which of the following expressions is not equivalent? Equivalent means the same to the others. So which of these expressions down here is different? Well, subtracting z from 5z plus 4, what would that look like? Well, that would be 5z plus 4 minus z. Well, if I combine like terms here, that becomes 4z plus 4. Now let's do the same for the next option. 5z plus 4 decreased by z. Well, decreasing by z means subtract z. So 5z plus 4 minus z. Well, that's the same thing again, right? Look right above it. That's also going to be 4z plus 4. Let's move on to the next option. z more than. More than means addition. So z more than 5z plus 4. That would be 5z plus 4 plus another z. One more z. Well, that's not the same. That's 6z plus 4 when I take my 5z and z together. Now, we don't really need to do the last one at this point, but we could do it just to prove it. z less than. Well, less than means subtraction. So 5z plus 4, and then let's subtract a z again. Remember, we talked about that with this wording less than. It means subtract afterwards. So take this 5z plus 4 and then subtract z. This, again, equals 4z plus 4. And we could tell that the only one of these that is different is this third option. So our answer here is going to be c. That's the one that's different than the others. To summarize this lesson, just make sure that you're familiarizing yourself with that list I gave at the beginning of the notes, and be very careful with your order of subtraction. A minus B is not the same thing as B minus A, which adds an extra level of difficulty to subtraction. If you came away with anything else, write that down now, otherwise we'll see you in lesson two.